Water Level Indicator We generally worry about the wastage of water, when we switch on the motor, and forget to turn it off. The Water Level Indicator, employs a simple mechanism, to detect and indicate the water level, in an overhead tank, or any other water container. In this video, we are presenting a very useful, cheap, and simple water level indicator circuit, using LM358 comparator IC. This circuit indicates the water level, using two LED, red and green. These are the components, which are needed in this project. LM358 IC, 8 pin IC base, 4 10 kilo ohm resistors, 3 1 kilo ohm resistors, 2 10 microfarad capacitors, 2 red LED, 1 green LED, 7805 voltage regulator, copper wires, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Here is the circuit diagram of this project. We are using a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. LED is used to give power on indication, and 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor is used to protect the LED from over voltage and current. 7805 voltage regulator is used to convert 9 volt DC into fixed 5 volt DC. While we use the circuit, the battery starts discharging, and battery voltage starts decreasing, but 7805 maintains fixed 5 volt DC, at its output, unless the battery voltage goes below 7 volt, two capacitors of 10 microfarad are used, at the input and output of 7805, to avoid any fluctuations in the supply. LM358 is an 8-pin dual comparator IC, it compares two of its inputs, and give the output accordingly, comparator compares the signal, at its pin number 2, with the signal at pin number 3, and give the output at its pin number 1, when the voltage at pin number 2, is higher than the voltage at pin number 3, then it gives a low output, at pin number 1, when voltage at pin number 2, is less than the voltage at pin number 3, then it gives a high output, at pin number 1. Similarly, it compares the signal, at its pin number 6, with the signal at pin number 5, and gives the output at its pin number 7. When the voltage at pin number 6, is higher than the voltage at pin number 5, then it gives a low output, at pin number 7. When the voltage at pin number 6, is less than the voltage at pin number 5, then it gives a high output, at pin number 7. Two 10 kilo ohm resistors are used in potential divider mode, and they gives 2.5 volt, at pin number 2 and 6 of the comparator. These are the three copper wires one of which is connected with the positive supply, green wire is connected with pin number 3 of IC, and red wire is connected with pin number 5, when water tank is full, then all the three wires short with each other, and we get 5 volt at pin number 3 and 5 of comparator, now, comparator have 2.5 volt at pin number 2 and 6, and 5 volt at pin number 3 and 5, so it gives a high signal, at its pin number 1 and 7, green LED is connected at pin number 1, and red LED is connected at pin number 7, so when water tank is full, then both the LED will turn on. When the water level is low, then connectivity between the green wire and supply wire will break, then this 10 kilo ohm resistor, gives the ground signal, at pin number 3, now in this case, Comparator have 2.5 volt at pin number 2, and 0 volt at pin number 3, so it gives a low signal, at its pin number 1, and green LED turns off. Red LED remains on. It indicates that water level is low. When water level goes below the low level point, then connectivity between the red wire, and supply wire will break. This 10 kilo ohm resistor, gives the ground signal, at pin number 5, 
Now in this case, comparator have 2.5 volt at pin number 6 and 0 volt at pin number 5, so it gives a low signal at its pin number 7 and red LED turns off. It indicates that water tank is empty. These are the components which we will use to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder 7805 voltage regulator. It has three pins. First one is input pin, second one is ground pin and third pin is output pin. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder two 10 kilo ohm resistors one by one to make the voltage divider. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the green LED.
Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the red LED. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will take three copper wires. Connect the yellow wire with positive supply, green wire with pin number 3 of IC, and red wire with pin number 5 of IC. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our circuit. To simulate our project, we have taken a plastic jar. We have dipped all the three wires inside the tank. Remember that the yellow wire is connected with a supply, so it should be longest in length and green wire should be the shortest. Now we will fill the water in the tank. We can see that initially both the LEDs are turned off. As the water level will cross the red wire, red LED will glow. It indicates that water level is low. When water tank will full, green LED will turn on. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number. 7007957715 to buy the items used in this project you can visit our website www.eraltech.com you can give us the orders on whatsapp also thank you so much